Significant Stories. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and welcome to Significant TV. Today's guest is Susan Rocco, founder of Women to Watch Media, LLC. Women, leadership, stories, how do they all fit together? Well, our guest, Susan, will share with us how that all works. Susan, welcome to Significant TV. Thank how are you. you today? I'm terrific. I'm oh, excited to be here. Thank you. Yeah. You no, know, this is really kind of cool. You are really mastering the art of sharing women's stories, particularly women in leadership, in radio. In and radio. so now you're here live today in TV. How did you get started with sharing those stories? Well, that's that's a loaded question. Oh, great. I'm <laughs> glad we've got time. It's a big question. But I will try to simplify it. Okay. Um, I, I did go to Villanova University mm -hmm. and, and graduated with a degree in communications with a big pipe dream of being a journalist and in media. And as I often say, um, I think at that time as a young girl mm -hmm. in my 20s, I wasn't quite ready to pursue it. Mm -hmm. And so uh, fast forward, I was um, 48 and it was in uh, 2012, August of 2012. And I really got to a place where I felt confident enough in myself mm -hmm. and what it was I was looking to do. I had just recently become an empty nester. Ah, My children okay, left, okay. you know, I have one in New York working mm -hmm. and I have a son, uh, he's in his last year of college. Oh, congratulations. So, thank you. Empty nest is an accomplishment. It is, it <laughs> is. That's a whole other story <laughs> right, or an accomplishment. Exactly. Um, but I, something that I had always loved was talk radio. I have always mm -hmm. been a huge fan of talk radio. And I knew that there were not programs specifically around women. Right, right. right. And so while I am a fan of, of lifestyle and fashion and all mm -hmm. that wonderful stuff. I really wanted a show that would be inspirational mm -hmm. and that would encourage women to pursue leadership roles. And right. so basically I went to a, a very small privately owned uh, radio station in Jeffersonville, just mm -hmm. outside of Philadelphia, with my idea for a show. And uh, they liked it. Mm -hmm. And then I said, oh my gosh, I got to find a guest for next week. <laughs> And that was the beginning. That was in, That's in 2012. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah. So in a sense, you, that dream incubated for 20 plus years. It did. It did. It yeah. did. And yeah. as we, we spoke briefly before the show, I truly have um, a, um, a passion for people and right. where they've come from. Right. I want to know where people started and their own stories. So. Mm -hmm how can you turn that into a business was the question, ah, right? right? So I knew that I had the ability to sit one-on-one -on -one with people as you do right. every day right. and, um, and speak to them and, and try to get them to share their story in, right. in an authentic way. Uh, but the challenge, of course, was how do I turn this into a business, okay. right? And generate okay. revenue because uh, the program is with a brokered radio station. Mm. So my production costs are my own. Right. And right. Uh, you've got to get so that sponsors. Was That's exactly right. 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 Yes. Right. Yeah. And so you've built a team now. I have. Yeah. Yes. And that's an accomplishment. Talk a little bit about this because Significant TV is really an opportunity for entrepreneurs to share their story, sort of the how they did it, some of the challenges, and some of the learnings. Yes. So mm -hmm. um, when I first started, I had a lot to learn about the radio industry. Mm -hmm. I had no background or experience in radio, so I had an idea for a mm -hmm. show. And what I soon learned was that well, for me, I, I, there is a mission behind everything that I'm doing. Yes. So my mission is to inspire and encourage more women to pursue leadership roles mm -hmm. worldwide. And I know you know why that's a good idea. It's absolutely a, it's good, a good idea. idea. And just a few days ago, it was International Women's Day. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so what I think, ha a couple of things kind of fell into place for me. I think I launched the show at just the right time. Mm. Um, in 2012, uh, Sheryl Sandberg had just come out with her book, Lean In, yes, right? Yes, wonderful book. And you can't turn on the news today without there being a discussion or a topic around diversity and inclusion, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and women in particular, yes. you know, in leadership. Yes. So I think the topic was, was relevant mm -hmm. and timely, and so in my outreach to women to be on the show, they were eager to do it. Right. And, you know, they were eager to do it for several reasons. Some I would say most are very supportive of my mission. So mm -hmm. what I'm looking to do right. by sharing these stories. 
And other women who are um, in C-suites and, and mm -hmm. corporations are looking for ways to demonstrate their own um, support of diversity and inclusion within their companies. Right. So I took that idea and I reached out to first local, you mm -hmm. know, local businesses here in Philadelphia and in the suburbs. And um, I got a, a great response and I brought in some small advertisers. Mm -hmm. But as the show developed, I started to see the potential in partnering with larger organizations in companies, both nonprofit and for profit, right. Right. Um, who could use Women to Watch as a media outlet, again, mm -hmm. to to share what they're doing around the topic of diversity within their and own companies. Inclusion. Right. Yes. Right. So uh, I'm very proud of how far you know I have come in four years to now have um, and I'll announce it today. Sure. Uh, one of our brand new sponsors is Baird. Oh, that's Baird excellent. Financial. Wow. Yes. Wow. And so um, Kristen Hillsley is mm -hmm. going to be an ongoing contributor to the show talking about women in finance, women in and money. And that's such an important topic. It is. Yeah. You know, individually, collectively, um, and even in the C suite. I mean, there yes. are folks that. Um, have access to wealth, accumulate wealth, but managing it, holding on to it, extending it, sharing it is a powerful concept. It is, yes. So let's go back to Women to Watch. You've actually received awards. Um, you've received acknowledgement and recognition for what you're doing. Talk a little bit about that. And why is that important to you? What does that mean to you? Well, and I know you're not a bragger. But, I, yes, you know, I, this is so part of leadership is having the confidence to say, is. this is what I've accomplished and this is why it's important. Yes. So I'll have you model that. Well, and you're right, and I'm <laughs> glad you said that because I think women um, struggle with being proud. Right. Right. We right. struggle with um, accomplishing and doing work and, and being proud, and I think mm -hmm. it's important that we do. And I'm right. working on right. it. Right. I'm working on that. And so I want to give you so, that opportunity. Well, I appreciate <laughs> it. Sure. I would say it's not necessarily important, but what it allows me to do is um, put more focus on the show mm. and gain more exposure ourselves. While we're a media company, we're always right. looking for me, more people to tune in right. and, and know that we're out there sharing these mm -hmm. stories. So that is always another, um, just another wonderful opportunity to share and, you know, with people in the community and around the world what we're doing. So mm -hmm. I am happy to have the acknowledgement <laughs> and, uh, but it's not necessarily important that that I get those acknowledgments. I think it's important as women that w in the work that we're doing, and I know we share a very similar mission and passion in sharing stories, it's always a, an opportunity uh, for someone to learn lessons that I think stay with them, right, right? longer. Right. right. Um, and so that's really what drives me um, in the work that I'm doing. Very powerful. I'm going to have you go back to the sort of 2012 lean-in phenomena. When have been times where you've leaned in and how has that influenced the development of Women to Watch? Um, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. I, I think leaning into me is really about speaking up. Yes. Right? Yes. And so it took me a very long time, um, and I talk about this very openly with the right. women on my show, that. Mm -hmm my struggle really was finding my voice and speaking mm -hmm. up about mm -hmm. what I believed in, what my values were, um, and, and having conviction. So I believe when I got to that place, you know, later in life in my 40s, that now in every interaction that I have, I'm speaking um, from my heart. Right. And right. what that has allowed me to do is create um, a company where people um, feel trust and confident and um, that in turn allows them to open up which which right. really is what I'm trying to do right, right. Because in my you interviews get them to share their stories that's right if right. you create trust if right. you're if you're really speaking from from your heart and, and uh, you know and have conviction in what you're saying and doing people feel that and they react right. and then they want to do business with you right? Absolutely. that's really what it no comes down to trust. that's right right yeah right. I'm going to go back, maybe not so far, to last year. In 2016, how many women did you interview and what percent were global? Because you're, you have the ability through radio to literally reach the world. Yes. Yeah. 
So how many did mm -hmm. I do? You know, that's something I don't necessarily keep track of, but mm -hmm. if over the period of four years that mm -hmm. I've been doing the show, um, I've interviewed well over 350 women. Wow. And as the show has continued to grow, um, I'm attracting women from all areas. And what's really neat is, so we have a, I'm live every week on, on Mondays I here in the tri-state area. Please share that. Yes, yes. yes. So, yes. but we have a very active digital platform mm -hmm. where we store the podcast of mm -hmm. every interview. And so we have and can see those, those analytics, mm -hmm. right? And women are tuning in from, for some reason, India and London are two very large That's demographics so for cool. us. Isn't That's that so neat? Cool. Yeah. So, um, you know, I think that's the power of, of technology and the internet. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we talk a lot on the show, um, particularly when I'm interviewing women who are in technology, mm -hmm. kind of the, the negatives and the positives. Mm -hmm. um, I see it as such an incredible opportunity to connect with people globally and to be right. able to do that is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say most recently, most of my guests have been coming from areas outside of Philadelphia. Uh, a lot from New York because they can mm -hmm. travel in. Right. Um, right. I much prefer face to face. So right. you yeah. know, the yeah. live Monday at three p.m. Yes, yeah. okay. yes. So if they're not able to come and be with mm -hmm. me in the studio, then we do it by phone. Mm -hmm. And so I've had women call from uh, Europe. Um, I've had women mm -hmm. from Canada. Mm -hmm. um, really, all over. And and it's so interesting to hear their perspectives about being women in particular careers, comparing then that experience to women um, in other areas, mm -hmm. you know, here in Philadelphia, for right. example. Right. Now, because your show focuses on leadership, what are some common threads that you're seeing, I guess, uh, amongst the U.S. interviewees, and to what degree do they, are they similar or different as you interview folks internationally? Well, there's, there's a lot of common threads. Mm -hmm. That's a great question, because what are we seeing in this arena of women's empowerment? Right which is, again, very much it's in blossoming. the news. It's right, blossoming, right. and it's wonderful. Yes. And I think we have to think about why mm -hmm. is it important? Why are we trying to have women be in positions of leadership? And I think what women, you know, if, if you compare the 70s, the mm -hmm. feminist movement, mm -hmm. yes. to what's happening today, right. I, I see it as very different. Mm -hmm. I think that what's happening now is a much more positive movement where women are starting to understand their abilities oh, and okay. um, mm -hmm. that they really are equal to men intellectually mm -hmm. and they are kind of walking out and forging their own way. They're starting companies and businesses um, right. in record numbers right. and we're seeing a lot of firsts for women. Yes. Women, you know, for the very first time um, as CEOs of major companies and, mm -hmm. you know, founders of, of incredible organizations. And so the women are, are seeing that and they're feeling it and we're, we're seeing statistics about it. Yes. Which what that does is it helps men and companies who have historically been men at the top. Right. They're starting to understand why it's economically sound right. to have more women in their C-suites and on their boards. So now we have the research and the statistics that can back up what we intuitively know. Right. And what I hear you also saying or implying is that now behavior changes can happen. That's right. There literally can be women moving into leadership roles yes. um, because they have the confidence mm -hmm. and the competence um, and the courage to, when they have challenges, to share their stories um, and for other women to learn from them. Yes, exactly. What you're doing is wonderful, being founder well, of Women to Watch. I appreciate and, that. Thank and you. And I'm going to encourage you right here on TV to continue your vision. Um, you've conquered one form of media, mm -hmm. which is radio. Right. Um, you're digital now. And so begin to think about the visual, the TV. Um, well, this is a yeah, great do your, place to start. Bring your message. Yeah. <laughs> bring yes, your message. we are. We were looking to one of the things we're going to implement in 2017 is women to watch on the road. Yes. Where I will have an opportunity to go in and sit down with women mm -hmm. in their place of work, which I think just adds kind of a different element to exactly. the to the to the interview. 
Well, Susan, thank yeah. you so much thank for being you, a guest. Thank you, Fran. I this appreciate it. I love what you're doing. Thank you. I appreciate the acknowledgement, and uh, just wonderful that you agreed to be on the show. We are, as we wrap up, I wanted to say we were talking briefly about collaboration, and collaboration and women and leadership, the three all go together. Yes. So thank you again. Yes, thank you for having me. Significant stories, significant entrepreneurs, significant leaders like Susan Rocco, who's founded Women to Watch Media LLC. Continue to watch Significant TV. The stories are unfolding, and they're all about you.